Welcome to Girls Talk Scuba. Now you're probably wondering who on earth we are. I'm Ellie. I'm Emmy. And this is the podcast where we talk all things scuba. Including, but not limited to, education. They don't know whether to do a buoyancy course Mm. or whether they actually want to just get some more fun dives under their belt. Equipment. We asked you what the first piece of equipment you bought was and the results are in. And destination. I really want to dive in the Caribbean and I really want to go diving with sharks. Make sure you subscribe to never miss an episode. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Girls Talk Scuba. We are so excited to be back with you again for another episode to talk more scuba diving. Can't believe we're still here. (laughs) Where are we going? (laughs) Um, But we have actually got a really good topic lined up as always, as every time we do this, we do. Mm -hmm. But um, before we dive into it, I want to ask Emmy how your week has been chaotic chaotic <laughs> no, i've been i've been diving pretty much every day i had a couple of days off because my sister came to visit Aww. but i took her diving as well so it wasn't really a day off but i think it's really nice though when when you have family that are into scuba diving as well yeah this was her uh second time trying it yeah. the first time was like it was not my day my computer decided to die I had no battery, spare battery. I had a extra customer that got put with me. So I was like a little bit all over the place and manic. So this time it was a lot better, a lot calmer. She enjoyed it a lot more. We have a really special announcement to make on today's episode. Um, we are actually opening up the podcast for you at home. So we want to hear from you and from the Girls at Scuba community about what you're out there doing. Um, so we're setting up a new part of the podcast, which is called Members Corner. Members Corner. And what we want to do in it is we want to share if you're a small business and you want to tell us a little bit about your business venture or whether you're um, setting up an organization or you're doing something in um, conservation efforts. Yeah. We really do want to hear from you. So do email podcast at girls at scuba.com and let us know what you're up to. And we will try our very best to feature it on the podcast um, every time we record. Definitely. So, I'm excited. Yeah. To see and what comes this through. week we have a really, I, this actually really appealed to me as well. Um, when I read, you know, the lady that was contacting me about it was, mm. it's such an incredible thing because I feel like it's so needed in the industry as well. So I'm really excited to share this actually. Um, so it's a lady called Dr. Laura Walton and she okay. is a clinical psychologist um, and she's been diving since 2007. Um, but she runs an organization called fittodive.org and that's the website as well and what they focus on is keeping divers physically mentally and emotionally well like well in diving which is all the important stuff of course but it also i feel like we focus a lot you know in 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 our courses anyway you know stay fit to dive and yeah and make sure but we we don't always address like the issues for example and you know anxiety with um mask clearing or there's a lot of claustrophobia with the suit and the breathing with the regulator yeah how to you know properly breathe and everything like that and it is so appealing i think to many people because that is provides not just people who are scuba divers but also pros professionals who are doing like dive master and instructors the tools they need to be able to respond to you know and understand more about how we can help in different ways um so she actually has loads of different courses on the website which i really recommend to take a look at Mm. we're actually going to be doing one of the courses for um looking at kind of panic and diving and trying to learn and absorb that information any way we can because i just think it's so beneficial no matter definitely what level of diving you're at if you can understand more then it's always worth Mm. learning about so i really 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 would recommend to go and check that out because it sounds amazing um and the work that she's doing so yeah that is fit to dive.org yeah exciting stuff um so our topic this week let's dive into it let's dive straight into it okay so the episode as you probably already know because you clicked on it but it's tipping point a guide to tipping in the scuba diving industry um now this is a massive mahoosive topic yes. um, to cover and there is a variety of different things i think we need to talk about mm. um i think we were both a little bit stumped when we came to this as well because we work in Europe, we, we work in Spain. Yeah, so it's not expected that you tip here. Yeah, and I think before we dive in, you do have to look at where you're going diving Definitely. and the culture that's surrounding it. Because obviously in the US, um, it is the fact that tipping culture is very normal. Yeah, it, it's expected. I think I read that it was expected 
five to ten dollars per tank per di uh, per diver. Yeah, so at mm. least ten to twenty dollars tip per two dives. Mm. I think it was. But in in Europe, I think it's more. I think people do tip, but it's more for like the above and beyond service, isn't yeah. it? Like it's it's if you're really impressed, say a you know a dive master found every single bit of underwater life that you wanted to see, mm. and an instructor maybe lent you their spare mask because you were having problems with yours, and you were really really happy with your service, then that's when people tend to tip in Europe, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and it is much appreciated because as divers, let's be honest, we don't get paid the highest salary i mean we don't do this for the money we do it purely for diving mm. so any tips that we do get here are highly appreciated yeah and i think you know especially where where we are it's we all pitch in to do a lot of different things but just on that topic though it is when we break down you know the diving industry and who's involved in it because often you know we are the front face of of the company because we are the yeah. instructors and we're dealing with the customers but behind the scenes sorry i had a little hiccup there um behind the scenes there is a lot of people that tend to be involved in the running of a dive center and you have kind of receptionist managers that yeah. are looking after the office side of things booking your dives in and um, you have the um crew who fill up cylinders yeah um, then you have technicians which make sure the scuba gear is working properly you then have chefs and housekeepers if you're kind of on a liveaboard or a live, live-in yeah, lodge resort, yeah. and you also have boat captain and crew if you if your dive center has a boat and you're on the boat for the um stay and also dive guides and instructors so that's like dive masters and um instructors that are running Definitely. your course so there's a v- big variation i think yeah a lot of lot of work goes into just yeah. a couple just of dives yeah it <laughs> does <laughs> and we and i think it's nice that that bit is kind of hidden because obviously when you go away you do want to enjoy it but i think it's also um you know finding the balance of what you feel comfortable with before we dove into this i actually looked at a few facebook posts on the girls that's cuba community mm. and a lot of people said they actually feel really uncomfortable with it because it's not that they don't want to tip they don't know it's, how it's always how, how much, how much <laughs> who's gonna get it yeah and if they do gonna i get divide it, it up yeah do, you know what do i do and i think as as well as, as well as that as well is you know scuba diving is an expensive hobby you know without adding tipping on as well and i think some people look at the viewpoint of well if i can afford to go scuba diving and spend this money then i can afford to tip my crew and my instructors but also some people you know they really do have to save up and they have to um go diving and that's really all they can afford to spend as well so it's making it accessible as well which i think is important definitely sometimes it's not about just about the tipping sometimes it's as well just showing that appreciation of the hard work like if you can't afford to tip that's fine with me Mm. um but it is great to see that the face light up when they (laughs) when they see an octopus for the first time and they get out the water and they're talking about it for hours on end like how an amazing experience they had that for me is fulfilling enough but always tips do help a little bit a mm. little bit octopus isn't going to pay the bills is it? <laughs> exactly <laughs> um no but i think uh let's let's go to how much then let's go to okay. roughly as you read for the u.s what did you say it yeah, was so u.s um it was five to ten dollars per tank per diver so a two tank dive would be ten to twenty dollars they would okay expect it so they tend to do it like the rough that's the yeah. expectance okay yeah. and, and that's i think important if you're looking at the moment if you're planning your next dive trip and you're not quite sure look at the location and utilize the facebook group as well because it's amazing but if you know i think especially the islands kind of like the caribbean as well mm. or caribbean however you want to caribbean say it. um and then i think that kind of takes the u.s tipping culture there as well not yeah. just kind of their own one um, when I went to Barbados in December, I did kind of edge towards the, I think, $10 maybe. Mm. But for the, So, yeah, I kind of adopted the same kind of... But it is, it's difficult because they don't always have signs up saying, you know, this is what we would like. Or, and I, I yeah. guess that's rude well, as well. I, I do <laughs> know on liverboards, I think there's like an always a little small print of how much how hard the crew members work and mm. how appreciated they would be if there was a tip well i think with with liverboards it's a little bit different because liverboards actually tend to uh, supply you with the tipping guide yeah i i read here it's 10 to 20 percent of the total cost mm. 
um so and i think that's always good as well because you don't want to go in there being um kind of taken back because you didn't realize you had to tip on top of the money um so i think if you are booked on a live board there should be a tipping guide that you can look at or if you might have already found it then yeah that's good um and then also we have scuba instructor and courses i read that tend to should be if you're running a course say you're doing an open water course yeah. with an instructor it should be 10 to 20 percent of the course mm. um so that might be helpful for some of you that might be doing a course and thinking how much do i tip them yeah how much is the most you've gotten tipped um i think i will say this i think we're allowed to say this um so when people book into the dive center mm. we often get given you know who our customers are and i always I'm very excited when I get given Americans because oh, yes. you are very used to tipping and in Europe we never really get tipped by not you know by yeah. people that are in Europe so um I think we all do get very excited when we get I think Americans. everyone volunteers yeah we're like, we'll do them. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think I've, I've been tipped about 70 euros before oh wow which was a lot yeah, yeah that's a nice tip um, but that was because I was doing quite I did I think I did three days diving with them so six dives so effectively it was um but yeah I mean it's how much is how much is the maximum you've been tipped maximum I've been tipped if you say 200 now I'm gonna be annoyed no no no, (laughs) definitely not I took a lovely couple diving a few years ago they're actually coming back at the end of the week um (coughs) and they tipped me and another person that we were working with at the time 60 euros and we got to split it but that for me was to be fair that got me breakfast and lunch it was really nice i do this a lot as well and i think most people on our dive center do is if if they've split the diving over a few days we always split our tips don't we because yeah definitely because sometimes they go with other people to different places so it's always we do kind of just want to share it all and enjoy it together for sure i think it's it's important um and then i guess moving on a little bit and when we I mean we mentioned there sorry a minute ago that you know in the US that's what's expected in Europe I don't think there is a standard I think it is kind of how much you feel you enjoyed your dives yeah um, as I mean our tip variations are very different sometimes it's 20 euros sometimes it's 10 mm. um, and if you do multiple dives sometimes it's more but um, I think in Europe there's not I wouldn't say there's like it's 10% of everything I I think 10% is a general rule I would say yeah Um, but I think there's not as much of an expectation in Europe to tip than there is in other places don't feel obliged it also depends on the service that you had if you had a horrible horrible time let's just say Mm. hope not but I I think it's probably worthwhile noting as well that it's very as we mentioned earlier obviously the cultures are very different because in Europe we get paid um, a quite quite a good salary actually for a you know scuba instructor um whereas in places you know like mexico and mm. the u.s they sometimes survive just simply off tips and if they yeah. don't go into work or if they don't um if they're you know no one tips them then they don't actually get paid any money yeah or they get paid very minimal from the actual business or dive center itself and then they get the rest in their tips or commission um so i think that's also might help you understand a little bit more about why in the scuba diving industry in those certain areas it is it is important to important tip because some to people tip. do survive off of it mm. and it is you know it must be very difficult to know okay every day how much you're going to get each yeah. each week or something exactly um so moving on when to tip mm. at mm. the end no see this is i think when we're talking about um you know when we should tip i think 10 what they tend to do is when i was away not too long ago at the end of the boat once we were all getting off the boat they would do a speech as well mm. um and the and the boat crew did a speech as, as well as the dive center too like there was kind of separate um and we tipped after that even though we were doing multiple dives with the same dive center we felt that we were worried we were going to get put with a different guide or a different um boat crew so i wanted to tip them there and then which i think is is recommended if you're planning on doing a lot of dives with them but you're sure you're going to get the same person then i think you can tip them at the end sometimes uh like my partner he had a tip given to him at the end of her fun dive package and it was a nice little envelope a nice little letter saying how much he appreciated the dives and how much he helped her because she had a bad back so he carried all of our equipment down to the sea and it's just the hard work that gets put to it i think is also appreciated when considering to, um, how much to tip because mm. some some instructors will go completely out of the way 
above and beyond to make sure that you're having a 10 star service <laughs> i think yeah and as you say there i think it's 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 very easy to you know we look at restaurants and um some people tip the, the waiters and some people yeah. tip the hairdressers and you know working in the scuba diving industry is very long hours as you said at the beginning we you know you don't do it for the money you do it for the love of the job you know yeah. you do it for the love of scuba diving and um, and they are very long days and usually especially when you're in the height of high season um and you know some instructors every day come there and, and will s- help you set up your equipment uh can you know lift your tanks for you pack and the bags fill the, the tanks load the van make sure you're all okay make sure we're all chatty Are you getting and some happy? things off your chest here i mean <laughs> no. no definitely not i love my job <laughs> <laughs> only joking we do actually really love our jobs um but no i think it's uh it's a good it's a good basis to go off and people i think people get surprised is yeah. what i was trying to say when they ask me like oh you must love your job it's so easy and i just like easy <laughs> easy the only part that's easy is in the water the yeah. rest of it is just like go 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 and also what's really interesting is girls at scuba did a poll not too long ago mm-hmm. and they were asking people how much they roughly tip oh i must total. have missed that one Tell um, me. and it's majority tip between six to ten percent okay so okay. i think uh, that's a good good variation to go off amount, if you're yeah. wondering and as as i did say earlier i was looking through the facebook post and going through a lot of comments and it is i think if you're a dive center owner or an instructor it might be helpful to know that people are very confused and there's not i don't think a set guidance so i think these you know speeches that you do after diving and you know if if you'd like to tip us i think that's good because it gives a clear and concise instruction and if you're a dive center owner maybe consider putting something inside the dive center of a recommended tip amount for your area or something jar um yeah and i think you know that's important to try and clear things up but if you're looking at how much you should tip as well hopefully this has been helpful and also maybe look on the girls at scuba community as well because Mm. the posts on there from all over because obviously every place is different every culture is different the you know the u.s way is tends to be more broader over the different um places but definitely have a look because there's a few different ones on there too yeah with your tips what do you tend to do with your tips because i know with my tips i try to put them to a side and to not touch it because for me it's just extra it's extra money that Mm. i can have so i'm i put it towards dive gear camera bits anything that that i can't really put all my money into right now so i have a little tip saving jar that are no i agree i try and do the same as well yeah. um and i think especially as you know the season goes on i mean we have no time to spend money i think we no. in, this, in the high season we really <laughs> spend money on food um, when i wake up the shops are closed and when i finish <laughs> yeah. work the shops are closed um so you know but um i do try and put them aside and then after you know this high season we try and have a few nights or days out don't we and enjoy yeah, stuff night the money we made but actually just quickly on 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 that is one thing i did miss was sometimes um you might be wondering well i don't really want to pay money i'd like i'd prefer to take my you know dive team out for a nice dinner or mm. something because that's happened to me as well before. oh yeah i've, I've done that as yeah well. where the customers we've really got on with them as well and the customers said look would you mind if we took you out to the pub and we'd love to buy you some drinks or yeah. take you out for dinner um and what I would say about that is that is lovely too. Obviously, I would check with, you know, with, your, the, ins- with, with the, the instructors owner or first, owners. Yeah. Um, but definitely, I mean, yeah, it, I, it I, is also, I think, mindful to note that it doesn't necessarily, like, if there's someone that's working, say, where they're not actually earning, you know, a proper salary, I would say, is that might take away from the fact of what they actually require it for. So, like, for example, paying their bills. Mm. But at the same time it's also a nice gesture and i think a lot i mean i really appreciate it whenever someone does that yeah definitely and just going back on what you said then about going out for lunch or something i remember my first one of my first open water students matilda she and her family i just i fell in love with them they're such a great family and they would always used to take they would hire me out for the day they would say to the boss that we, all, we want to take emmy for the day she's coming <laughs> with us and they would take me out for lunch and they would get my lunch and we would sit on the beach i'd take them dive in it was a really really nice relaxed day yeah. where i didn't feel like i was working mm. and that I, I really appreciate things like that as well yeah i think it's it does make your day even better when that yeah because i get to meet new people and they're such a lovely family that was great to be around mm, for sure well i think we've covered kind of most of the bases yeah. we've covered you know how you know 
should we tip in scuba diving which i think we've covered a few different variations Mm of we've also covered when we should tip so as we said earlier at the at the end of your dive or at the end of your holiday depending on what your situation is yeah um and also kind of the general consensus of you know the community too of who tips and who agrees with it and who doesn't but i think the main thing i would say is never be afraid to kind of ask um yeah. utilize and also there is a really good blog on girls at scuba as website on their blog about tipping and it lists kind of all of the different variations and the norm then like you know definitely liverpool the, the rough guidelines yeah. of, of tipping for sure well thank you very much for joining us on this episode of girls talk scuba and we would love for you to get involved in the poll below do you tip or not um, please leave a review of the episode if you enjoyed it and of the podcast in general and remember to share it if you can too we will be back with you very soon for another yeah. episode of girls talk scuba